right in here uh, with uh, with these. Uh, I'm sorry. Farinas. Farinas. Okay. Yes. And uh, your wife Melody. Melody's right there. Yep. There she is. <laughs> Uh, this is uh, well, Melody. You were here the first uh, for the first one. Yes, I was. And then you were here for the first time last year. Yes, uh, I was. So, uh, how was uh, your experience last year? And, it know, was pretty good. I like the energy because that's, it's like the whole community comes here, and it's like kind of like a convention. It's just for one town. You yeah. know what I mean? Like it's almost like you see like when we do the farmers market, and we see some of the same families come by. And you get kind of like a good rapport with them. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So, uh, what do you have uh, for people here today? And I know that uh, last year you guys were working on the new Lieutenant for Metal. Yeah, yeah, I have. I, I really, I really, I really enjoyed that series. You did? That, that was that was a fun. Both the writing and the art was great. And uh, Melody was just telling me again how you guys you know, work with uh, Joe Casey on that. And I have uh, the Star Wars. Where's the Wookiee? Okay. The Lux, which combines the first and two books. <laughs> and. Uh, I guess next year I'll probably have the third book, so I've been working on that for the last five years. And then I do some comics here and there, and I write them, design them. Yeah, uh, come, you want to tell me a little bit about the comics? Uh, Claudia and Rex is my first comic for my debut uh, for uh, this publisher I started called Buño. Mm -hmm. And it's about uh, these girls who are going on a cross-country trip and get uh, uh, possessed by the gods of, of all different pantheons, so they can access them through their cell phones, and they have like almost a little adventure trying to get away okay. from this like big bad god. And then I worked on Judge Dredd for a few years, and mm -hmm. so have that here. And then Motro is a book I did that's kind of like a fantasy coming of age story, of like a. I don't know. It's, I think, a, little, it's a little weird. I think Melody was describing it as like a grown-up Pokemon. Oh, that's Gamma. Gamma. Yeah, Gamma. Okay. Yeah. I sold that one. Okay. <laughs> I'm out. <laughs> Sorry, I have so many things going on, and you know, just, but no, it's good to see you again, and uh, well, nice. To, you know, you always. You know, I love your artwork. Thank you. Um, I appreciate it. Anything else you're working on, or you know, just um, just kind of taking things as they come. <laughs> yeah, I, you know, the what I'm working on is we just had a kid together. Yes, so I, saw, I saw that. It's yeah. really just been kind of. And, and, and as a father of a three-year-old, I know how much. <laughs> yeah, it's figuring out what we are in addition to being artists. Yeah. You know, so that's been the next journey. And how to function on a, a lot of not uh, how to function on not a lot of sleep. That's melody. Um, I get my sleep because I can't be woken up. <laughs> like, um, <laughs> so Melody, you got to give it up to her. She's the one who's been taking them hours. I got I can't take credit. <laughs> well, uh, I, my my son's uh, turning three, so he gets a little bit. <laughs> they get more intense, consistent. Yeah. <laughs> Wake up, Dad! I want yours. Sometimes, if I haven't been giving him up attention in the day, like she's been doing a lot of it. I, he gets to the point where he is like, I want to see Dad. Like, where is he? What has he been oh, up to? It's so great when I come home from work and it's, they're out like walking and he runs down the street, Daddy, Daddy. <laughs> yeah, so, yeah. It's like they, they have the idea that two of us. You know, <laughs> so. All right. Well, it's uh, great to you know talk to you. This I don't think we got to talk last year. I think you were busy sketching. So, well, um, it's great to <laughs> great to catch up with you and uh, uh, enjoy the rest of the show. Bye.